Welcome back to the latest episode of this Rory Acres My Player Career Mode. As you can see, guys, we are just here at home watching some of the Welcome to Wrexham series at the moment. Rory's just getting into it a bit, looking at some of the history of the club and with the potential of Rory actually being a part of it next season. How cool would that be when they start doing the filming again as the season gets underway? You can see there from the top left corner, guys, we are still currently sitting as a substitute looking for our first start. It will be really good if we can get that one day soon. We need to impress in the upcoming fixtures and and if we can do that, we might even get featured here on the Welcome to Wrexham TV show. Guys, if you haven't watched it already, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you have. And if I think it's really good. I've watched the first season and I'm going to watch the second season soon as well. Uh, coming up in this episode, we have an EFL trophy game against Salford. We currently have zero points. It's our first EFL trophy game. And we've also got Burton to play in there. I believe usually there's um, under 21 squads from some of the Premier League teams. But I don't think uh, FC24 has the capability of doing such a complicated thing. So uh, they've only added three teams into the table for the EFL trophy and that is coming up right now guys as you can see we come onto the pitch in the 61st minute 1-0 down to Salford City uh, Hendry there going and scoring the goal and we're coming on up front once again number 16 coming on here for number 10 Rory Akers on for Paul Mullen so we've got plenty of time we've got about 30 minutes to get a 7.0 match rating get at least one goal or a assist and also take two shots on target so they seem like pretty feasible objectives once again it's really good to see that the objectives are coming off the bench are a lot lighter than the objectives hopefully when we start uh, in starting matches I'm sure they'll be a lot heavier when we do get that opportunity but as you can see here guys we're currently 1-0 down to Salford City here in the EFL trophy our first game in the trophy can we get a win out of this one we're in the 61st minute of the game now we've got the pro camera going on it looks really good and Akers here on the ball laying it back there losing the ball unfortunately for Hendry there and a corner kick here now in the 63rd minute for Salford a header away from Akers doesn't quite get it very far but Cannon manages to pick it up we get it clear and I think we can get a run up the pitch here clean there they're laying it to acres acres running through from the halfway line he's got options to his right has he got any opportunity to get it into the box here he's just going to cut it inside yes he does a little chop back flicks it into the box but lund there for Salford manages to get it away to john and they managed to get it clear now we're into the 73rd minute we've been on for about 15 minutes now not really making much of an impact yet, but Akers making a way forward there to Dalby. Dalby laying it back to Jones. Jones with the shot. It hits Akers. Akers with the chance. Out of nowhere gets a goal. And guys, that shot, I think it was from Jones, actually hit Akers right in the chest, which caught the goalkeeper off guard, caught the defenders off guard. Akers manages to control it down, even though it hurt him quite a bit in the chest. Controls it down, smashes it across goal into the left side of the net. And it's gone on the back of the net. Hits make it 1-1 in this game. Akers coming on as a sub. Look at this there. Complete fluke with that shot but Akers manages to control it down very quickly catches the keeper and the defenders off guard and he's gone and scored his first goal of this game it's Wrexham 1 Salford City 1 in this EFL trophy game and we have completed one of our objectives there by scoring a goal very good to see and we've also got our rating up a bit now so coming off the bench is looking good to get our points pushing up on the manager rating 83rd minute into this game now it's Wrexham 1 Salford 1 still we've got seven minutes remaining Akers making his way forward there lays it there to Cannon Cannon with an opportunity to pass it no he's going to go all the way on his own lays it to Dalby Dalby with the near post shot and it looks like he's going to score but could be the winner here Cannon there just laying it off to Dalby Dalby getting the goal at the near post hesitant for a little bit but he went and took on the shot and the near post shot goes in the back of the net keeper caught off guard once again and we have taken a 2-1 lead here against Salford City look at this Dalby for Wrexham number 18 gets it on the edge of the box or just inside the box here on his left foot at the near post catching everyone off guard with that quick shot and it's gone in the back of the net to make it 2-1 in this game in the 85th minute Sam Dalby there with his first goal in this competition and very good to see him getting on the score sheet as well it is now Wrexham 2 Salford City 1 if we can win this for the next five minutes guys we will be coming away with a nice victory here hopefully we don't give anything away in the last minute Akers there taking a quick early shot because one of our objectives was to actually get two shots on target and we hadn't done that so I wanted to make sure we got that out of the way Akers now on the ball once again in the 91st minute about to finish the game he just plays it back nice and safely just to hold the ball if we can hold it for 10 more seconds the game will be over Akers now laying it forward to McLean and there goes the final whistle I think he was offside but we've gone and grabbed a 2-1 victory here in the EFL trophy the first one of the season and uh, we are hopefully going to look to win the EFL trophy this season it could be a very very easy one for us to get if we can play well throughout the 
the competition as well as the league. So it's something to look forward to. And because uh, we are currently out of the Carabao Cup, getting knocked out to Watford in that second game, I believe. Now, guys, as you can see on the score, we got an 8.0 match rating. We played 31 minutes. We scored one goal and had two shots on target, which is perfect. That means all of our objectives were complete. And we have come away with a very happy manager and a very happy team after turning around a 1-0 deficit into a 2-1 win after coming on. As you can see, three objective ticks there. We are approaching our first 11 starting place. If we can get that now or in the coming episodes, it will be really great to see us pushing on into the starting 11 and making an impact there from every single game onwards. Now, we also had a thing where we can share our congratulations around with the team by winning goal scored and a very nice little decision made there to get some points on our little personality tier. As you can see now, back at the gym once again in Wrexham, guys. We're just keeping our head down, working hard here for Wrexham. We're currently sitting fourth in the table. Still no losses whatsoever. Three wins, three jaws. But because of the draws, we haven't pushed on as high as we wanted to in the table. Now we are back at training and we're just doing some free kick training at the moment. Direct free kicks just to get used to how the free kicks are taking the taking this season. It's a little bit different. You can use different kind of shots. What kind of free kicks do we want Rory to be taking if we get the opportunity to take them? Do we want to take curlers into the top corner? Do we want to power them? bottom corner do we want to like do something awkward and do outside of the foot shots we could just train and train with something until we figure out a really good method to what we like to do uh, we currently have 21,000 pounds in the bank as you can see below there and we're sitting on a 74 overall which is what I'm going to keep it at for the rest of the season as we are already one of the highest rated players in the team as you can see some of these free kicks we are taking we're not doing too well but we are getting a couple there just on target not quite enough going in but it is our first proper free kick training session just trying to figure out what kind of method we want to use and what kind of skill we want to be taking here into our free kick game as well as hopefully being given penalty opportunities soon but at the moment I don't believe Wrexham have since we've been on the pitch have been given a single free kick or penalty and in preseason I think Paul Mullen was taking the penalty uh, the penalties as well so we've got to get that off him as well we're currently still number 16 so we're looking to also get the number off of the other player I think it was Palmer by the end of the season hopefully and uh, coming up now we've got the next fixture in the EFL League 2 at Court Lane it's against Swindon Town so we're away from home here we are traveling off to that match right now we've got 12 points on the table they have got four this is a great opportunity to grab another three points on the table if we can do it and we are coming onto the pitch in the 60th minute so another 30 minutes to impress here we're coming off a Dalby this time so we'll be playing alongside uh, Paul Mullen up front so it's going to be really good to get that partnership going and hopefully get something out of this game we've got a throw in it looks like coming up now now we've got to get a match rating of at least 7.0 in this game get an assist on one goal and get at least one goal or assist so hopefully Hopefully, if we can get an assist, we complete two objectives straight away, and that assist will hopefully give us enough of a match rating to hit the 7.0 as well. So that's our aim in this one, is to grab an assist. I mean, if we can score goals, then great, we'll do that. The main objective here is to grab an assist. We're currently sitting at nil-nil on the scoreline, so everything to play for in this game. 60 minutes in, 30 minutes remaining, and here we are getting underway with the first chance of the game. Being intercepted there, McEachran and the uh, chance for Swindon now coming forward on the ball here. Looks to lay this one on the edge of the box. They're laying it short there to Hep Burn Murphy. A good tackle in there. Looks like Akers manages to track back and get a great tackle into win possession back for his team. And now we're pushing forward in the 74th minute of this one, laying it off there to Young. Young pushing forward back to Akers. Akers has got a chance to play it through to Mullen. And we're just trying to hold up the ball, waiting for the opportunity to open up. But Mullen gives it away here. And we are coming to see a McEachran chance coming forward now for Swindon Town. Oh, we've got a good interception. And once again, though, Back on some forwards here. Akers there laying it forward now to Mullen, who's on the ball. He's got a chance to lay it into the box. Akers goes short. Akers goes to the near post, and it's in the back of the net. 76 minutes played. Wrexham won. Swindon nil, and Akers gets his goal off the bench. Once again, showing everyone why he deserves a place in the starting lineup. Rory Akers really finding his form lately in the league, and it's really good to see us scoring as well in the trophy at the start of this episode. Great pass there from Mullen and a great bit of play there for Rory Akers to touch it forward and shoot at the near post and get that goal. 77 minutes played and it is now Wrexham 1, Swindon Town 0. Our third goal of the season by the looks of it. We're slowly catching up on goals as we get more and more game time and it's really, really nice to see uh, the team performing so well and holding their lead, guys. We, we are in League 2. We've come from the National League up into League 2 so no one was sure what to expect. We are playing well enough to maybe win the league we are playing at least well enough to get to the playoffs i reckon 78 minutes played now and a chance coming forward for swindon on the ball can we get an interception in here good little good little close out there from the wrexham players mullen on the ball now is it through to acres acres is pushing through on goal he's got an opportunity to score again if he can do it at the near post there just been tackled by the defender who got a foot in right at the last second and they managed to get it back to his goalkeeper and cleared away 84 minutes in now it's khan on the ball 
And here we go with another chance for Swindon. What are they going to do with it here? Can they get this one into the back of the net? McEachran just holding the ball inside the box. No one able to get a tackle in. He's gone forward and he has scored a goal in the 85th minute. The defending there from Wrexham was just very questionable indeed. Not sure what was going on. It's a couple of times they've done that in this game. They just haven't pushed onto the man to make the tackle. They've just let him run around with the ball and it has gone in the back of the net to make it 1-1 in this game. Look at this. It's on the edge of the box. Someone needs to get that tackle in. He just does them up, and he actually goes through and shoots through the player and gets the goal there. Unfortunately for Wrexham, we have conceded in the 86th minute, so there's only four minutes remaining. Are we going to be able to grab a final goal out of this game, or is it going to end here at 1-1 with a disappointing draw after really we should be winning a game like this? And now in the 91st minute, sadly, it looks like it's going to be all but over here as the final whistle is about to blow in the 92nd minute. And there we go, coming away with a 1-1 draw. So I think we managed to complete two of our objectives in this game, but it wasn't quite enough to get the third one, so we won't be getting as many manager points as we would have wanted. But uh, I, I feel a bit let down by the team, to be honest. The defensive display there to concede that goal was not optimal, and we needed to do better at the back to make sure we don't concede goals like that if we want to be pushing up the table. 7.1 rating on the board, so we just managed just to just managed to scrape in with the rating we needed. We got one shot on target, one goal, 31 minutes played. So I believe that means we complete two objectives in this one as well. So we definitely are pushing our way up into the starting 11, just not quite yet. So we'll be coming on probably as a sub for the next game as well. As you can see there, right at the top of the sub bench. Hopefully the next episode will see us getting a starting position in the lineup. That'd be really cool if we can manage to do that. I'm going to be finishing this episode up here now. And we're going to be heading out of that game and on our way back uh, to the stadium, guys. As you can see, we've left the game. We've arrived back here at the race course ground from that away game. And we notice there's a lot of fans out here waiting for us as we get off the bus. A lot of them calling out Rory's name. And they've got Acre shirt on. And they're just willing. They just they just want to have a chat. They just want an autograph, guys. This is so cool. We've got some fans here wanting autographs. So we go to each fan individually. We sign a couple of autographs. We sign a couple of shirts and have a chat with some of these nice fans who have been watching us play. They came with us on the away trip and they're here now just wanting to have a chat with Rory. And uh, it's really, really nice to see Rory getting a bit of recognition, guys. Rory, he's, he's really, really chuffed that some people have actually wanted to, to see him in particular getting off the bus after the goal he did score today and the goal he's been scoring recently. It's really good to see. Now, coming up in the next episode, we've got Wrexham against Warsaw, guys. It's going to be a pretty big game, that one as well. They've only got eight points on the table. We've got 13, and we're currently sitting in fifth place on the table. Still no losses this season, but a lot of draws, which is not ideal there. Morecambe in third with no draws, but two losses. And most teams at least have one or two losses, and that's going to be about it for me from this episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.